Hey, do you know why people fall into groupthink? Mimetic behavior is another word, another way to term that. Mimetic behavior is just why do we mimic groups, large groups of people, and do what everybody else is doing? Do you know why we do that? It's it's not just our be it's not just our behavior. It's because it's literally because so many of us have no idea who we are. We're not actually connected to the root, the core of who we are, of our being. And because of that, if you don't know who you are, you will literally mimic whatever you see done around you, okay? I've heard people say recently, I've heard people say, you know, I don't know what to believe anymore. I hear something on the news, but then, you know, other, then other information comes out and, you know, contradicts what we're hearing on the news. And I just don't know what to believe anymore about you name it, a, a plethora of things that are going on. This last year has shown us there's a lot of confusion out there. People are just swayed in this direction, in this direction. People who said they would never do this or end up doing this. You know, it's just, it's crazy. And so I've heard people say often, I don't know what to believe anymore. It's just so confusing. I understand that. I hear that. I totally get that. But do you know why that is? Yeah, it's because we have identified with a narrative. We've, if you identify with anything, a political persuasion, if you identify by being against something, if you identify by being a certain nationality, a certain religious you know, creed or, or whatever, or even, even ethnicity, or even some part of your body or some aspect of your, if you identify around something that is finite, because all those things I named are finite, any, any component part of your body, if you identify with it, it's a, it's a finite re reality. If you identify with a political party, a religious persuasion, these are all finite things. They change, there's a beginning to them and there's an end to them. If you identify with any of those, you lose the ability to be aware and to see clearly. The best thing you can do for yourself is not identify with anything that is finite. You are not your body. You're not even your mind. All of those things change. All of those things begin and end. You are actually something beyond all of that. And only when you have learned to identify with that which doesn't change, only when we learn to identify with that which is infinite, can you then learn to perceive reality from the way it is. What we need these days is people who perceive. If you perceive reality, you cannot be manipulated.